Mississippi State wins the toss, elects to go left to right. Ole Miss receives going right to left. It definitely makes a difference in the fourth quarter. Then John Bond himself dives over, breaking the plane and scoring for the Bulldogs. And finally, number 33, Henry Kuntz, into the end zone, touchdown Mississippi State. The Rebels with a full rush. Timmy Moffitt back to receive with no blockers. Moffitt cuts left, then sidesteps 10 Mississippi State players, gets a block on the last one, and scores. A 56-yard return for Timmy Moffitt. Puts the Rebels on the boards and sparks Ole Miss. Artie Cosby comes on for Mississippi State and has a 51-yard field goal attempt. The ball sails through and the Bulldogs take a 23-7 lead. Things are looking grim on the Rebel sidelines. Another unusual play in this game. Kelly Powell will take the snap and hand to Arthur Humphrey. Humphrey has the ball knocked loose. It bounces right up into the arms of Kelly Powell, who runs around the right side for the touchdown. On third down and three, Freddie Joe Nunn gets to Bond, forces him to pitch early, and the ball is fumbled. It's scooped up by number 95, Matthew Lovelady, who takes it into the end zone. Of course, you cannot advance the fumble, but the Rebels will have the ball first and ten in business. Now with third down, Kelly Powell will go to the air. Back to pass, he looks in the end zone and fires one complete to Timmy Moffitt. Touchdown, Ole Miss. The Rebels are back within two. It's 23 to 21. Then Neil T. Van on for a field goal. He nails a 35-yard kick. In the... His kick goes straight up and straight down. Stopped by a mighty gust of wind, the ball seemed to spin as if on a pinwheel.